The key to winning zero build matches isn't what you think. It's not perfect positioning or laser beam aim. It's actually just playing smart and mitigating luck in the early game. I'll be taking you guys inside my mind and through my thought process step by step for this win. But before the video starts, I just want to thank all of y'all for the support on my last video. I read through all your comments and they mean a ton to me. And because of y'all, we got channel memberships and a creator code. If you want to support me, consider dropping my code PENGUIN with a 1 instead of an I in your item shop or picking up a membership. Now without further ado, let's go. To start this game out, I land on the Medusa NPC because she sells a purple burst SMG, which will give me an edge over my opponent's off drop. Now I'm hoping for a laser sight on this because the hip fire on the laser sight burst is incredible. It's almost 100% accurate. And as you can see here, we got lucky and we got the laser attachment. Landing here removed the luck factor for getting good or bad weapons off drop, and now I feel confident pushing enemies. As I grab this barrel for a little extra help, I notice someone in the building, and I decide to check the bottom floor. Since they're not here, they have to be on the top floor, and I'm right. So I use right hand peeks here to make sure this guy can't hit me, and I clean up that kill. Since I know more people are here, I'm going to quickly keep looting up to prepare myself for my next fight. I was actually up in this room texting a friend, but I heard an enemy approaching me, so I go see if I can find him. Right here, I drop, which almost got me killed, but I got lucky. If I had to redo this fight, I probably would have held high ground for longer to try to get a little bit more of a damage advantage before dropping. After the fight, I hopped in a car and I started driving towards Olympus when this happened. Right here, I was distracted and an enemy got the drop on me. I hop out of the car to prevent him from doing damage to me through the window, and I take shots back at him. At this point, neither of us have done damage to each other, and I'm behind my only cover, which is a car, at half health, and I have no movement to close the gap between us. So now, my goal is to do as much poke damage to him as possible. Now right here, I'm at a massive damage disadvantage. I've only hit him for 53, while he just hit me for 116. Ideally, I'd pop a mini here to get as much health as possible, but since he starts shooting out my cover, I want to avoid the explosion and the damage, so I run out into the open. Now I'm focusing on movement to stay hard to hit, and staying far away to force him to make a move. He does, and I even the damage out, and here I keep my distance and just spray him down, which actually saved my life because he had an auto shotgun. So if I was any closer, I would have been dead. Even though I was at a disadvantage, quick thinking and good movement won me that fight. I then started healing and rotating over towards the nearby tunnel, where I found a bunch of cabbages and a barrel to heal up all my health. I also noticed he was still spectating me, so we had to hit him with a bit of toxicity. I spent some time looting in the tunnel and got some much needed movement, the air bending. After I finished healing and looting in the tunnel, I noticed on the minimap that I have two medallions near me, and right now I'm searching for them. This guy starts shooting at me, and I realize that he's a pretty decent player because he's actually swapped seats in his car just to take shots at me, and he swaps back to the driver's seat to drive away. So most likely, this is one of the medallion players. And since he just cracked my overshield and got a little bit of damage to my shields, I decided to back off and wait for my overshield to recharge so that I'm at full health for the upcoming fight. Unfortunately, this guy's not going to let me off easy, and he's chasing me in the car. So I'd use my Flowberry of Fizz to heal back to full, and then I use my jump with my airbending, and the Flowberry Fizz combo takes me extra far to try to disengage from the fight. Now I sit behind this wall to see if he decides to push me or peek and see if I can get some damage off, but I start to hear him drive away towards the vault. Now, I wasn't completely sure if he had stopped to wait for me or if he's actually in the vault, so I crouch walked towards the vault so he wouldn't hear me coming. And based on his footsteps, it seems like he's in the vault, so I'm staying crouched so I can get the drop on him. Now here I use right hand peeks to look down into the vault to get eyes on my opponent. And here, I notice that the way he's running looks like he's going to use the mod bench, so this is my chance to attack. I was right, and even though he reacted pretty well, I was able to catch him off guard and clean up the kill. And that is yet another fight that we have won by playing smart and waiting for the right opportunity to strike. After looting the vault, based on zone, I decided to make my way back towards fencing fields. Now at this point, we're reaching the end game, and with only 14 players left, I'm feeling a little bit more confident to just take shots like this at some players to see if I can get a free kill. Now I can't see him anymore, 
but I think he might be landing at the boathouse, so I shoot out the pad so he can't get away from me. And right here, I shoot at what I think is him, but is actually the bot, which is kind of awkward. But as I reload, I notice that a medallion is coming in behind me on the minimap, so I reposition with my airbending to get a more advantageous position. Since this zone is pretty big and there's a decent amount of players left, I'm just looking for a spot like a bush where I can just wait out for the zone to close a little bit more so that we can start cleaning up the players. And as I find this bush, some guy starts shooting at me in the back, and I know that this fight is relatively isolated, so I go for the kill. Now I know that he was somewhere behind this house, so I get the high ground on the little building, and I take shots at him, but he runs away with his airbending. And while I do crack him, he gets away, and it's not worth chasing him across the zone at this point, because it could easily leave me open to third party. Now I just take a second to reload, and move to the bush I saw earlier. Now after spending an entire minute just standing in this bush waiting for the zone to close, I notice on the minimap that there's a player with a medallion in the zone. So I'm looking at the edge of zone here to see if I can find him and pick up a kill. After a little bit of time, I notice him driving away in his car, but still in storm for some reason, which is kind of weird. So I decide to hop on my airbending and follow him along the edge of zone to try to hold him when he comes in. Now here, based on the minimap, I know he's somewhere in front of me, and so I'm scanning to try to find him. And I finally notice him, and so I start taking shots. Unfortunately, he gets out of my line of sight, but I chase him down. He stops at the dock here, with the obvious intention to try to go pad, but he doesn't realize I broke it. So I'm taking this slow and smart, and I'm just reloading, and I notice someone in the window, who I think is him, so I start taking shots. But actually, it's that guy from earlier. After I took shots at this guy, he hid in this house for over five minutes. This video is sped up eight times and he just sat in here. He even got a kill <laughs> and he, he was still in here up until the guy I chased here killed him. After the shenanigans, I rotated up to restored reels for the endgame. I decided to hide in this roof here because I can use the right hand peek mechanic to look around without exposing myself. I'm also in the active side of zone, which I discussed in my previous video, which you could find in the card on the top right. And this means that most of the remaining players are going to be rotating into me, which is exactly what happened with this guy who is carrying both of the remaining medallions that I didn't have. I heard him coming, so I decided to play this slow to see what he would do. I notice here that he's actually in range if I do an airbending jump, and I'm able to get up here and confirm a kill and get all four medallions for myself. Now at this point in the game, there's only five other players remaining, which is not that many for such a large zone. So now what I'm trying to do is scout around to see if I can pick up any kills before the zone squeezes us all together. I get to this rock, and I spray this bush because I don't want to get sniped in the back of the head. Since the bush is clear, we're all good, but the zone pulls back towards restored reels, so I head back up that way. Now I mark the roof of the long building here to check if it was in zone, and I'm able to tell by my marker and looking on the minimap that it actually is going to be in zone. So I do the same thing I did in the first building, and I start punching out the roof to hide here and watch to see what the remaining players do. I'm up in this roof for about a minute before I notice someone airbending and I decide to take some shots at him. I don't do that much damage, but I know where he is and I just got scanned by someone's NPC relatively close. So I know that two of the four remaining players are somewhere in front of me. Now at this point, with only three players remaining, I decide to rotate to get an angle on the fight that's actively happening. I notice in the feed someone died, and then the other guy died, so now it's actually a 1v1. So I fizz up, and I use my jump and my extra distance from the Zeus medallion to push this guy. And I see him fizzing, so I know he's under there, and I'm able to clean up a free kill because he's weak from his fight. As you saw with every fight and rotation I did in this game, I played smart and I did my best not to put myself out of position or take unnecessary fights. 
And if you apply these concepts to your own games, I'm sure you'll start racking up those wins. Like and subscribe, please, please, I'm begging you, please!